Hey everyone, it's Abby. Today I thought I'd give you a little tour of my sewing room since I finally got my chair for the corner. I had been moving the chair that I use for my sewing machine over into the corner to do intros and stuff, but I had wanted to put kind of a com comfy cute chair here in the corner that the dogs could hang out in or my husband if he wants to hang out while I'm sewing or whatever. I mean, even I could sit in it and hand sew, which is pretty nice. And then I found this really cute antique uh, side table at an antique center um, eh, about three or four weeks ago. And yeah, so this corner is kind of cozy now. And now I can do intros here. Uh, I still really want to frame a lot of my art on the walls, but at least I have them up. Um, I have all of my big items that I need for this space. I tend to like to edit my furniture when I get it. So uh, my desk is currently a dark brown that I'm not a huge fan of. And I decided to get like a sage green to make it kind of brighter and also easier to film on. But also, you know, pretty and green because I like green. So today I'm also going to contact paper my desk to kind of finish off my craft room. I'm sure I'll get a few other things over time, but for right now and in the space I'm at, I have a good amount of storage and uh, yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good. So why don't we take a look at what my sitting room looks like and Make that desk green. <laughs> I found this great green velvet chair for my sewing table. I have my collection of comic figurines in the window. I was able to find a lot of nice looking storage options. The chests are nice and big. There's a few hollow books in the bookcase as well. I covered my bookcase in leafy contact paper, as I thought it fit my theme a little better. The wardrobe is a bit short, but I'm happy to have a bit of space to hang some costumes. The rest are under my bed in the other room. I may place a few in the larger chest at some point too. I cleared off my sewing table to prepare to cover it in the sage green contact paper. I'll need to unscrew the table from the legs in order to get the paper to sit right. I start with making sure there isn't any hair or dust on the tabletop. I 
I peel back the front of the contact paper. I line it up and stick the side down, going slowly so as to get rid of any bubbles. I just use my hand to smooth the paper onto the tabletop, releasing any bubbles that pop up. I sometimes have to peel it back to resituate, but it goes on pretty quick. I trim the excess off the end. In order to get the front and back sides stuck down, I trim the corners and smooth them down. It's time to get all the screws off. I loosen them one at a time. Now that the screws are off, I can get the rest of the contact paper done. I didn't realize that the top was off camera but I smoothed the paper in place and trimmed the edges. I also used my scissors to poke holes for the screws. I placed the tabletop back on the legs. I screw each of the screws back in place. I tighten up the screws once I had all of them in. It's a little harder to do it this way, but I didn't want to flip the legs, so ideal. And there we go. My sewing table is green now. It brightens up the space a little more than the brown did. For joining me today as we took a little tour of my sewing room and we made my desk green. <laughs> as you can see it's a rather small space but it actually works pretty well for me and the floor is just enough space for my cutting mat to be folded out. That's all I really need. <laughs>
my desk is smaller now so it's not as easy to film and lay things out on it but I can do it on the floor so it's not a big deal. I do have the one window that I open for better light sometimes but uh, it also is a bit too bright when filming so I don't usually have it open when I am filming here or just kind of showing around the room. If you liked this video and want to see more sewing and costume videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy sewing! Like this.